Catch World Ministries Powerhouse Network. Let us go to the scripture here. Uh, open your Bibles there to uh, the book of Galatians. And let's look at Galatians uh, uh, chapter 5 and verse 16 and verse 17. And uh, let us read together. Read. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the spirit lusteth against this, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would ordinarily do. Walk in the Spirit. In order to walk in the Spirit, my brothers and sisters, you must renew your mind. You must renew your mind daily so that you don't lust, allow the flesh to lust after the things of the flesh. Okay, I tell you what, while we're right here, this, let's turn over here to, uh, to Romans uh, chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. And we want to look down here at, uh, at verse 6 and verse 7. Here's what the Bible says. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. You see, your mind is the control tower that can controls everything that this physical body of ours will ever do. And what you want to be able to understand here in this lesson is, is that walking in the flesh is a mindset. So it continues on to say that, but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their thing, set their minds on the things of the flesh, and those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the thing of the Spirit. So what, what, the, what the Bible is saying here is, is, is that the flesh is a mindset. When you're walking in the flesh, it is a mindset. It is something that you have personally chosen to do. You have chosen to live outside of the will of God. But when you're walking in the spirit, walking in the spirit is also a mindset. And when you walk in the spirit, you have chosen to set your mind on the things of God. The Bible also tells us to set our minds on the things above and not on the things below. Set our minds on the things above and not on the things below. You see, what are we talking about here in terms of setting our minds on the things above? Setting our minds on the things above is means that we're setting our minds on the knowledge that God has provided us with through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. You see, he sent Jesus into the world that he may take away our sins. And you see, when, 
when we continue to live and walk in the flesh, we're living in sin. Now, Jesus has come that we may have eternal life by accepting him as our Lord and Savior. And when we do this, we will begin to walk in the Spirit. So how is this going to take place? It's going to take place this way. Is that you are going to renew your mind daily. You're going to have a new mindset. You're going to stop the lustful cravings of the things of the flesh. Cravings for sexual activities outside of marriage. You see, when you are living according to the flesh, this is what you're going to do. Craving for uh, to have a another joint, a snort cocaine, or some other illegal activities. And it may not be, you may not necessarily have those same cravings as someone else. You may be like myself. Uh, I have cravings of ice cream because I love ice cream. But what I must learn to do is to fight those cravings. Otherwise, I would wake up in the middle of the night wanting some ice cream and I put on my clothes and, and get in my automobile and drive to the uh, nearest open market and purchase me some ice cream. But I know that that's not the necessary craving that I want to have, so I have to fight it. Uh, so the same thing that you must do if you are going to the clubs, partying, getting drunk, fighting, smoking, taking dope. These are lustful cravings of the flesh that you need to get rid of. And in order to do so, you got to renew your mind daily. And how are you going to do that? You're going to pick up this book. This is the Word of God. You're going to study this Word. You're going to meditate on this Word. You're going to pray over this word. You're going to obey the teachings of what this word say. Because the Holy Spirit that lives in you is truth. And the Holy Spirit is only going to guide you towards knowing the truth. Because you see, as we tell you daily in our teaching that you have come into God's classroom of higher learning. That is what the teaching of this Bible is about. It is about higher learning, getting the higher knowledge of who God is, who you are, and who you are in God. You see, in order for you to be guided towards success on this earth, you must have the higher knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes, getting your education and getting your degree is important. But what are you going to do if you get fired from that job or have no job to go to. 
Well, you have to be able to get the understanding of the higher knowledge, and the only way you're going to get the understanding of the higher knowledge is to go into this Bible and open it up, study it, meditate on it day and night as the Bible teaches us to do so. Then you're going to gain that higher knowledge. That higher knowledge comes with you renewing your mind daily. And the only way you're going to be able to renew your mind daily is to study the Word of God. Because the word of God is truth. You have to be able to decide to change your thinking. And the only way you're going to do that is to renew your mind daily. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to, uh, to open up your Bibles to, uh, to, the, book of, uh, to the book of Romans. Uh, let's look at, uh, at, at uh, Romans... Uh, 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 chapter 12, and we want to look down here at, 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 verse, at verse 2. Romans 12, verse 2. Okay? All right. Let us read this here verse together. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be not, trans be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see, the Bible tells us what we must do. Once we are born again and accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we must now begin the process of renewing our minds. And renewing our minds means that we must make a change. We must study. We must study to show ourselves approved, approved before God, that we may be able to do the things that God has chosen for us to do. We might be able to, to walk in the spirit and not lust after the flesh. We must be able to pick ourselves up when we fall down. And how are we going to do that uh, if we're not walking in the spirit? We're not allowing the Holy Spirit to be able to pick us up and to take us to that uh, higher ground. How are we going to be able to get in our automobiles and, and, and drive down the highway and we come to a fork in the road and, 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 and we don't know which direction to go? But before we got to that fork in the road, uh, there was a voice uh, that said, uh, a turn right at the next intersection. And but we got there and we said, hmm. I don't think so. I, it doesn't look right. I, I, I think I'm supposed to go this way. So what have you done? You made a left turn instead of taking the right turn uh, that the voice has spoken to you and told you to take. You see, the voice that was speaking to you was the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will not fool you. The Holy Spirit is there to, to help you. But if you're not walking uh, in the spirit and uh, and you're walking in the flesh, of course that voice that you heard uh, after when you arrived at that at that fork in the road uh, would be the voice of the devil because you see the understanding that you have is that you're living in the flesh and by living in the flesh uh, there is a lack of knowledge there is a lack of of understanding because the voices that you are hearing are the voices of the devil. The voice of the Holy Spirit said, turn right, but you ignored that voice because you're walking 
in the flesh. But a person that is walk, walking in the spirit will hear that voice, that person will obey that voice, and that person will do as that voice have told it to do, and that person will be on the right track. So if my brothers and sisters, as I said, if you want to live successful uh, in uh, this world, you must be able to pick up this book, pick it up, study it, and know that it is the truth and be able to gain that higher knowledge, that higher knowledge that you come into this classroom to be able to gain each and every day.